Hi, my name is Jessica Cabasi. I'm a fashion and portrait photographer from Detroit, Michigan. And I also make YouTube videos. I do photography challenges and tutorials. I want to tell you about my brand new Skillshare class that's coming out. It's all about shooting outdoor portraits. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanted to show you a sneak peek, so check it out. I like to shoot about an hour before sunset. We get the nice light. You know, the light is very soft as the sun is setting. So you find yourself in a place like a park where there's a lot of open space and there's no buildings blocking the sun. You get some gorgeous light. So today we have Azizi in this dress. It's very soft, very pretty, and it's gonna go great with this location. And I know wherever you are in the world, you have a park. It may not be super fancy. It may only have one swing set, but you gotta park where you're at. That's a photo shoot location. So I'm gonna show you guys how I tackle a location like this and get the best shots possible. So when I'm shooting with professional models, I'm looking to shoot three things, a headshot, full body, and then a waist up shot. So let's just start with one of you just standing. Okay. So let's do full body. Since, since I got my 24 to 70 lens here, you know, we're gonna get a nice wide shot. We're gonna show the dress off. We're gonna show the shoes off. So let's do that. Okay. So I'm starting off pretty wide. I'm literally shooting at 24 millimeter. And then as far as my settings go, we're at 2.8 and then my shutter speed is 640. And my ISO right now is still at 100. We might have to bump that up sooner or later. You know, it's getting kind of dark. And magic hour goes by so fast. So it's not golden for long, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, very simple. Yeah, I love this, the very simple standing ones. Do one where you're kind of just like standing and then you're showing the boot off a little bit. Lift your chin up a little. Yeah, right there. Love those simple portraits. And I love that little wisps in your face. If you can like bring them on your face even more. Yeah, those are great. Great job. Movement shots. So we'll have as easy maybe walk back and forth. We'll get some of that movement. Sometimes I'll stay in one spot when I'm shooting these, but sometimes I'll actually walk with the model. So I'll actually be walking with you today. I'm gonna to be following you, I'm your paparazzi. Okay. So let's show you how I do this. So start right here and then I'm literally just gonna follow you as you're walking. So I want you to like look at me or you can like look towards this lake. And what I like to do is give the models a certain direction to look at and by giving them a certain thing to look at. Like I see a garbage can right there just look at the garbage can as your point of reference. So giving them something specific to look at is probably better than me just saying like, look over there, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's have you walking and I'm gonna follow you as you're doing that. And looking here, and I'm shooting really wide, I'm capturing a lot of this. So then, yeah, let's have you move back, but can you start over here? Okay, so turn, I want you to turn around and then walk towards me. So I'll just walk with the model and I'll have you back up. Looking here. And then walk back towards me. Lift your chin up a little. Like there's no better way to get an action shot than actually moving with the model, you know? So we got all of those. Those look awesome. And I'll always take a second to make sure the movement shots come out. And there's at least one or two that I really like. Okay, let's, oh, I love this one. Love this. Oh, I love this one. Let's do that one, but maybe like open your lips up yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay. So let's do that. I'm literally out of breath. You see how photography is literally exercise, which is great. Okay. Lift your chin up a little and walk forwards. Looking here. And then walk forwards. Okay, so let's do some of you sitting because I want to do a variation for you. So for this next shot, we're going to have Azizi show off the boots, show off the rest of the outfit. She doesn't have to be completely sitting. It can be just her sitting like this. It's creating some really nice shape. And then we want to make sure that her other knee is not completely covered because then we lose the shape and you're, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, even just barely because the tool, but. 
Yeah, but perfect. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And of course, as I'm taking pictures, I see what's working, what's not. Maybe like, let's see the other knee, what we can do with that. Like bring it out maybe that way. Can you do that? See, this is one thing as a photographer, you have to just refine, make adjustments until you see what you like. So don't just have the model pose and then that be the end of it. Like, it's all about giving direction. Okay. I love this. See, this is better because now we see the shape of your knee, whereas before it was just kind of like blobby, like a blob, so. And actually, I'm gonna get an overhead view of this because the background was not that great. We're seeing a lot of like the cars in the back. So by just moving up, I can kind of change the look of the photo and what, what is included in the background. Like lean back just a little bit, like move your, just your, yeah, just your body, yeah, like that. And then move forward, yeah, right there. Let me like move back. So I'm gonna treat this like it's a 70 millimeter lens right now. So I'm actually at 60 millimeter. I want a little bit of bokeh in there. Oh, these are looking so pretty. Those are great, good job. We have some nice light. There's a lot of shape, beautiful colors, the nice boots. Okay. your elbow in this way yes perfect oh, I love this too stay right there yeah okay now what we're gonna do is I want to go to this tree and we can do some photos with the tree let's do some kind of like you can like flutter out the dress have fun with it okay, cool. these are gonna be full body yes yeah I love this the light little bit tricky might bring in a reflector for this one so I feel like if we bounce back some of that light from the sun that's right behind you, it'll fill some of those dark shadows. So we have a couple of different sides. There's a silver side. I also want to try the white side, but let's see how this looks right now. It's bring. I like the silver actually. It's bringing back a lot of that light. And most of the time, I know you may not have anyone to help you hold the reflector. I sure don't. <laughs> So I'm going to be holding it by myself, which I usually do. I mean, I know you're like, I don't have an assistant. I really don't. People are like, oh, I'll hold your reflector. I'm like, no, I'd rather suffer alone. <laughs> okay, so I have a technique on holding a reflector. So I do one of these and then I can just shoot with the other arm. So that's what we're going to do today. It brings back a lot of light, as you can see right there which is gonna make a huge difference in post. Okay, so actually, let me show you guys the difference. I'm gonna take a photo with no reflector. And then this is a photo with the reflector. See right there? And it gets really heavy, but that's okay because this is what we do to get the shot. So what I would do too is try to get a really nice portrait with this. So I'm gonna set up my shot and then let's do something kind of like in the middle to the side a little. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, perfect. Wow, so pretty. Okay. Bring your shoulder in even more. And I'm kind of like placing my camera on the reflector too. And then I'll have my like foot holding the bottom of the reflector. <laughs> Look at all this stuff I do to get one picture. Okay. Bring your head out a little, chin up, chin down now. We just do a couple of variations, like bring your shoulder, yeah. I want you to just keep moving here, yeah. Facing me. Okay, so the last few shots, let's go over there. I wanna to switch to my 50, 1.4. We'll do a couple of portraits. So let's start out at 1.4 for the f-stop and see what we got, see what we got to work with. Let's have you like in there. Let's have you like in here, yeah. And then, yeah, and I'll do some 
Yeah, I'll do some like right here. We'll get some, oh, I'm like, if I let it go and then it hits you in the face, we don't want that. <laughs> okay, let me, let me have you right here. Yeah, let's have you just like in between the leaves. We can kind of set it up like this. So right now my shutter is 800. My f-stop is at 1.4. That's the widest it gets. My ISO, I actually bumped it up to 250 because the sun is setting and it sets pretty fast. Doesn't wait for anybody. So always adjust your settings while you're shooting. And then for these portraits, I'm having some leaves in the foreground. I might actually go and shoot in between them too, depending on what kind of light we get. Maybe I'll actually shoot right here. Yeah, this could be really pretty. Yeah, how about you're like looking straight ahead? Have your hand in there. Yeah, oh, stay right here. This is beautiful. Stay right here. I wanna get more of that outfit in this. Lift your chin up, part your lips. The last one, we're gonna maybe go to that tree. So we're switching back to the 24. Let me take a test shot to see how the light is because the sun is going down right now and the light has changed. So it's actually a lot darker right now. Okay, we got the right settings here. We're at 3.5, 800 shutter speed, and then I, the ISO is at 640. So the ISO is going up. It's increasing right now. Okay, so let's do that. This one will be a little tricky because the light, we're essentially shooting backlit right now. So you really want to make sure your settings are focused on exposing for the model's face and some of the sky. You're not gonna get the sky fully exposed without like an external light or maybe a reflector. Maybe I'll actually bring in a reflector real quick for this one. Let me see. Yeah, this is good, okay. So now I can kind of adjust my settings to the reflector being, helping me out basically. Okay, so let's, right here, okay. Yeah, even some of you just like standing there, yeah. And then some movement shots. Yeah, fluttering the dress out. Like walking up to my lens, walking a little bit closer to the reflector, there we go. Yeah, right here is where the reflector is hitting really well. Yeah, right here. Kind of stay in this area. There we go. Yeah, love that. Love that pose where you kind of like, we're doing something like that. Yeah, I love that. Let's, let's stay on that pose. Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah. Looking here. Oh, beautiful. Stay, let's do that pose one more time. So if I really like a pose, I'll have the model kind of stay in it and I'll take a couple shots of it and then we'll just add in little things to it. So I'll show you how I do that. So Azizi, go back to that pose where you're kind of like, yeah, like that. So this is the pose right now. We got the reflector. Stay in that pose, yeah, stay in that pose, don't move. And I just want you to take your right arm and then grab your dress, show off your boot a little bit more. Like bring your dress up, kind of like pull it up a little bit more. Like to show, yeah, right there, just to show the shoes a little bit more. And then we're gonna take the photo. Again, still the same pose, but we just added something different to it. Okay. Looking here. Like walking up to me. And walking back. Yeah, love that. Walk back. All right, so we wrapped up the photo shoot. I did a variety of shots. We did portraits, we did full body. We were all up in the trees. As easy, almost fell into the pond. Luckily, she didn't. I would say, successful photo shoot. You did an amazing job. Always give it up to the models because without the models, we wouldn't have pictures. So that was just one of the lessons from my class. You can watch the entire course by clicking on the link down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Skillshare. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.